Hi guys, today is Sunday the 3rd of July 2022 which means it's Tarot Day. Okay, let's get serious for a minute. Last week was not a good tarot spread. I actually tried to do it three times <laughs> and I was getting horrible, horrible cards. And now I can understand why. Because this week, heaps of truths are now coming out. It's unfortunate, isn't it, that we now live in a world where we don't know who to trust, we don't know what to believe anymore. Um, you know, I said it to people years ago that the news is paid advertising and they could not see it. And I said, think of it this way. You see on the news, there's been a fatal car accident. And I hope I don't trigger anybody with this information, okay? Please reach out and talk to someone if it does, okay? You know, you see a story about a fatal car accident. <clears throat> it's sad. It gets our emotions running because that's what they want. They want our emotions because that's energy. But ultimately, that advertising was a promotion to get roads fixed. It's a promotion that then allows them to justify the funding that they get to modify traffic signals or to make a an intersection face um, safer for tra travelers. Every story that we see on the TV is a paid promotion. You see a story about a lady who was killed by her partner again please go and talk to someone if this triggers you email me contact me if you want but please reach out okay if this does trigger you so you hear about a death of a woman and then what that paid promotion entitles the dv places to receive funding so they can better improve their services for people in that situation Everything that we see is a paid promotion. It's whether you work it out. You know, we even look at our advertisings. Why do you think they want us to get new um, refrigerators? Because they promote them. It's an advertising, right? They're promoting <clears throat> a to make us feel worthless. Oh, look at the wash. Look at the fridge I've got now. It's not worth anything. So it's all to make us feel less value. But that's totally spiritual because we are in a spiritual war but then ultimately they say oh look at this one it's better effect it's better you know it doesn't use enough electricity or it does this for the for the global ch change thing happening okay so everything is a promotion it's all paid advertising so every single second of airtime on tv has to be paid for think about it everything that we see on tv is propaganda <clears throat> who pays to get it out there okay because the cards that I've got this week even though and it's really cool the what is happening now is the world is falling apart they are struggling I'm talking about the ones in charge you know the top five percent of the pyramid if you're following what I'm talking about though they're starting to struggle because the truth is now coming out. Um, a certain company, starting with P, F, if you know who I'm talking about there, maybe a riser, starting with P, F, you know who I'm talking about, they're now being forced to disclose what's in it, what it does to people, and the figures are astounding. It's too traumatic for some to understand. So the first card that I got today, because she told me to do this card first, it's the Tower card. <clears throat> the higher we get, the harder we fall. So let me go over to my book, because <clears throat> I want to read this, the Tower card. This is amazing, okay? A house that has been built without good foundations must collapse sooner or later. The tower represents such situations. 
For anything that has been built on illusion or false beliefs is now coming to an end. Look at all the lies that they're telling us, guys. Those false beliefs, okay? It's all falling apart, okay? In the positive, it means having the ability to see the truth in a matter and to build anew for the future, this time with solid foundations, okay? This is never an easy card when it appears in a reading because it shows a sudden or unexpected ending that may bring a sense of catastrophe or chaos with it. You know, if you've watched my videos, I'm now up to nine deaths in three days that I've heard about. One was a seven-year-old boy who had a stroke two days after he had a certain medical procedure. I had her, his mum on the phone for hours the other day. She can't understand why. It was safe. She, she was told it was effective. How could this happen? Another one of those deaths was one of my daughter's teachers at school. So I had to sit her down and explain to her that he had to have that medical procedure to work. He probably didn't even want it. It's all falling apart, guys. We must believe it, okay? Sudden or unexpected endings that may bring a sense of catastrophe or chaos with it. <clears throat> this can be in regards to situations that have been relied upon. <laughs> We're all being told it's safe. As being permanent and can relate to any area of life. Well, look at it. it we're, it's affecting every job that we do, isn't it? What's going on? This card is not always totally unexpected. Sometimes when the tower is drawn, there is already anticipation of something of this nature. So look at some, you know, there are people out there who have always, always known this was going to be the way it was going to be. So people are now waking up to this. You know, I, I'll be honest, I had my daughter's birthday on Friday so I didn't check my emails on Friday. So I went into my emails uh, probably about 6 o'clock on Saturday morning and I had 248 emails there. People are worried. People are scared. People are concerned. People want to know what's happening. So they have that sense of hope that everything's going to be okay. So I spent about three hours... Um, replying to every single person in that contact list um, I never just flick people I don't do that, I can't do it so there is already anticipation of something of this nature so there are people out there who know this is true <clears throat> one of the emails that I got was from a lady in New Zealand she, she is a funeral home director she said what they're seeing now with the increase of clients It's not funny. She said they can't embalm these people because of the clots and this stringy stuff that they're finding inside the bodies. Like this is horrendous. Why isn't this out there? Why don't they why don't they stop doing this? You know, on the advertising, the promotion, the propaganda that I see on TV, they're saying now come and get your fourth nut number one nut number four. Oh my god, I can't handle this. Some days I just can't handle it. Yet often people will try to stay blind to this possibility. <clears throat> people are staying blind to it. All the deniers. Having a sense of denial. That's exactly what it says. Look in my book. A sense of denial. So there are people out there who say, oh, no, 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 no. Safe. <laughs> it's effective. But I'm seeing it every single day now how unsafe it is. And... You know, I try to tell people and they just say, oh, no, 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 no. What can we do, guys? You know, I look at Noah. There's a certain point where he had to stop telling people that the waters were coming. And he had to just simply turn his back on those people and walk up the plank and get onto the boat, the ark. I think that is now where we're at. You know, I said it a few weeks ago that we're there, but now I know we're there. We can no longer afford our energy into those who are denying what's happening. We must think about ourselves. 
because the next two years is going to be atrocious. Um, <clears throat> if you do want a copy of my prophecy of the next two years, please email me. My email is below, linda at lindaray.info, L-Y-N-D-A. Um, so please um, email me and I'll tell you it's in private what's coming because it's horrendous okay but those that are left afterwards we're the ones who are not only just picking up the pieces but the world is going to be so much better after this because economies are crashing you know look at the stock market etc <laughs> crash and burn look at fuel prices crash and burn and i please don't think i'm laughing at this because it's not it's totally horrendous but we must see the funny side of what they're doing because it is all just a game at the end of the day, okay? Yet people will try to stay blind to the possibility of having a sense of denial. But this is not always the case. People like me. The tower tends to indicate something collapsing that was falsely believed to be true. How many t people believed what the media was saying about these things? So please tread this card delicately. It is helpful to recognize how the tower fits into your life. Other cards in the reading should help you see this also. What preparations you can make in readiness. Oh my gosh. And how you can improve matters afterwards. Oh my gosh. There is always something positive that can be done. Oh my gosh. Look. It's right here in my book. I did a reading yesterday for a gentleman and I said... Please know that we may head back to 1930 um, depression, global depression, where people were burning their furniture and their clothes just to heat the house because there was no there was no power, no electricity. You know, this is going to be life changing for a lot of people who believe. You know, let's just go there. Oh, sorry, guys, because I am crying. You know, this is disgusting. What's happening? Um. A lot of people who believe that their car has more value than the kindness that they give to others. People who believe that the size of their house dictates what good friends they get. You know those type of people? They're all about to crash and burn. <clears throat> They're all about to crash and burn. You know, people in Australia, our high price houses, um, the price of houses has just gone up half. So if your house was worth half a million dollars, it's now worth $750,000. It's gone up another half. So all these people have just committed to mortgages. And in the next year or two, they're not going to be able to afford to pay those mortgages. So the banks will repossess. You know, you look at the 1930s, everybody lost their houses. No one could keep their houses. <clears throat> Even if you owned your house, you had to sell it back to the bank so you could pay your rates or your land tax or whatever the heck you call it so there are bad times coming guys this is our time to be prepared as the card said be prepared stockpile all your food get things together now okay work out do i really need that holiday or do i pay off the car so the bank doesn't own it anymore think about those type of critical thinking financial ob um, obligations that we have and really don't rely on those who are about to fall and crash okay the ones who make it through the next two years are the going are going to be the spiritual people the ones who are not paying attention to what they do so do not put your energy <clears throat> do not get emotional and most of all don't put your concern into people who don't deserve it don't pay attention to what is stated in the media as i just said at the beginning okay so i was told this morning to do this card first now i understand why because it's the tower doom and gloom is coming so now let's go over to the beautiful louise benton range of cards um the link is below if you do want to go buy some let's get positive now okay we have the exaltation card look at the artwork isn't it gorgeous earth water air fire merging creations expansive desire 
Sun and moon tuned to earth, exuberant elemental forces birthed. We've got to remember, guys, we are eternal. We do have a soul that lives on after the death of this life, okay? So this is just a stage that we're all going through. We all signed up for this, okay? Rolling waves and radiant light. Spirit and form take to flight. Nature offers a divine invitation to share in its joyous exaltation. So this is where we get back to our roots of nature. Get back to your roots. Work it out. Who are you? Who do you want to be in the next five years after all this happens? Because the next two years is going to be <coughs> capital K-R-A-P is coming. Okay. Cleanse body and mind and the per pathways will open. So cleansing our body and mind, what does that mean? It means get rid of all our mental junk out of our body you know all those thoughts all those behaviors that no longer serve us it means look within analyze who we are and what we want to be that's what we are when we are cleansing our body and our mind okay and the pathways will open how many people are contacting me now saying oh my gosh i'm dreaming that i'm a massage clinic um massage person i've always worked in a bank what the heck does this mean I've been dreaming now for two weeks. I say, you've got to listen to the signs. Listen to your messages. They're saying, get into holistic services. Because after all this stuff, everybody will be reaching out for relaxation, meditation, massage. People will be reaching out to learn um, self-awareness, self-consciousness. So, you know, if you're getting messages at this point to get into like Reiki, healing, healing, if you're getting told to go into counseling, if you're getting messages or dreams where you think, oh my God, why do I want to become a life coach? Go do it. Because I'll tell you as a little insight, those who are receiving the messages are those who will succeed in doing it. Okay. So honor the seasons and cycles in celebration. Life, birth, death, and regeneration. Our lives are eternal, guys. We have thousands and thousands of lives. Don't put so much onus on this one. Just look at our life lessons that we're here to learn. Okay? They reflect the essence of our own true nature of constant change and transformation. Okay? And there was a line that I missed. Cleanse body and mind and the pathways will open. Earth will embrace you and ego's spell will be broken self is ego self is having material gains so ego people need the big house the big car the big job they need all the friends the social gatherings i'm not saying it's a bad thing okay i love it when i have my parties i love it when i drive my car i love it when i'm in my house but we've got to remember what is important to us is what is within us and not what we have on the outside because none of this stuff goes with us when we pass over. It's only what's up here that does, okay? I celebrate life and accept change with ease and grace. A lot of changes are coming. A lot of things are falling apart. You know, the banks are scurrying. They don't know what to do because a lot of people now are investing in um, digital currencies. They're shivering in their timbers. They don't know what to do. Okay? But don't concern yourself with it. Think about you. This is our time. It's not selfish. It is not selfish to think what is best for me. Okay? It's not selfish. So the last card that I've got, did I do my little ruin card? No, the ruin card. We've got to do him. I've got him as the X. Okay, let me do my little ruin. Oh my gosh. Okay, here he is. It's the gift stone. Sorry, I pulled him out just before because I, I knew that I had a lot to talk about today. So I've already pulled him out. He's here. Okay, it's this one here. It's the gift stone. Now, what's another word for gift? Present. Past, present, future. Think of it as that, as that, present, okay? What do we want to do now to 
to make our lives better in the future. This is all what we're getting told, guys. Okay, it is called the Gabo Stone. Gabo. The symbol of gifts and giving. A very positive ruin indicating impending good fortune or a favorable outcome in relation to any undertaking currently underway. Now remember, the universe looks after those who believe in the universe. It's a kind of magic. Okay, so we've got four dot points here. Let's read it. A very good sign. Yes, you've got to remember, okay, there's always yin yang, there's good, bad. So, even knowing this is a horrible card, probably one of the worst in the tarot, we've got to remember it's not going to be for everybody, okay? So, how do they counteract that in the universal energies? They give everybody else a gift okay good things are coming to those who are good okay a signal should i say good let's just say positive okay i don't like the word good a, a signal that a gift or some good fortune is about to manifest in your life now remember fortune is not always money fortune could be good health fortune could be you're driving along the road and you think, oh my God, I need petrol, but you look down and you've actually got three quarters of a tank still in the car, so you don't have to get petrol. Good fortune could be where you've got that opportunity to be of help to other people, okay? So good fortune is coming to those, obviously, who are on the right side of the fence here. Or could also indicate a new positive development in a partnership. Okay, so good news there, either personal or business related. And last one says, maybe material or emotional gift being received. So what is an emotional gift? An emotional gift is becoming aware of who you want to be. Do you want to be a person who um, sits at home all day and you're worried? Or do you want to be a person who gets out there and has a hobby or interest of help to others? So an emotional gift might be where you say, look to the sky and you say, you know what, today I want to help three people. The universe will put you into that position through that synchronicity, because it's gorgeous how it works, that magic. They will put you into three opportunities where you get the opportunity to show that you meant what you said. What we think, we create, okay? And we're all one with the universe. So as soon as we have that intention, I want to help three people today, you will find it may not be three people. You may be walking outside and there's a dog with a stick stuck in its paw. So you pull the stick out and it's like, meow, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You might be walking down the street and there might be a bird caught in a tree. So you fluff out the branches to let the bird fly away. That sort of thing, okay? So it's not always just people that we look after, okay? Opportunity to help. It can come in any way or form. You might go outside to your car and you notice that there's a stone in one of your tire treads. So you pull the stone out. So be thankful that your car, even because even though it's an animate object, it's still energy. Everything in our car is energy, okay? So think of it that way, because I say that a lot when I leave the house. Today I want to help three people when I leave the house. I want to be of service, of service to them for three people. I want to be able to assist or talk with three people today. You know, I love it when I go down my local shops. I've got a Woolworths down the road from me. I go down there and I say, I want to talk to three people today. Obviously, we've got the checkout lady. You're going to talk to her. Hi, how's your day going? I hope everything's okay. But where's the other two? So as I'm standing in an aisle looking at cat food and you see someone else there, I say, oh, what sort of cat have you got? Because people don't buy cat food generally, unless they've got a cat, right? So I just say, oh, what sort of cat have you got? What, what does it eat? Mine's a fussy. Mine does, only likes kibble. No, does yours like the wet food? <laughs> so at least we're having that communication. And as I walk away, I say, oh, I hope you have a nice day today. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not flirting. It's complimentary. I, I like complimenting other people. One day, I saw a lady walking towards me and I noticed her shoes. 
And I thought, I'm going to mention her shoes. Sorry, that was my cat just running through. So I talked about her shoes. Where'd you get them? They look so comfortable. So, last card I've got, because my cat wants food, I've got to get out of here now. Love would smile at every given opportunity so as to spread joy. Take this week, guys, as an opportunity through the present. Today is a, a present day. Stop listening to those who aren't important to us and start being that beautiful opportunity to spread love and kindness in others. Take today as an opportunity to say to yourself, what can I do today to make my life as well as other people's lives better? Hope the cards have meant something to you guys. If you've liked it, please comment below. Like the video. Share it to your friends if you think they need to hear it as well. Okay. Love yous all. I'll talk to yous all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.